Hey guys, welcome back to Mel's Beauty Hangout. Excuse my crazy hair. Today's video is going to be how I contour and highlight, mainly how I powder, contour, and highlight because I don't really use a lot of cream products. And so I made this video based on for people who are beginners, either struggle with contouring or they kind of want to learn about more how to contour their face and kind of just learn about the highlighting techniques and why we contour and all that fun stuff. So it's going to be a really in-depth video. So it's probably going to be a long video, I'm sure, because I already filmed it. And I think it's going to be long. So if you guys make it to the end, give yourself a pat on the back. So if you guys enjoyed this video and want to see more how-to videos, please give the video a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button so that you guys come back and see all my how-to videos because I'm going to be doing a lot of them. Like the next one is going to be how to apply false lashes. So be sure to subscribe if you guys like what you see. And like I said, I'm sorry, my hair is crazy. I'm going to go ahead and stop babbling because this video is already long. But if you guys want to see how to contour and highlight and some tips and tricks that I use on my face and like what I really enjoy using because I don't, I'm not going to say I'm not the greatest contour or highlighter person out there. I'm not like a professional or anything like that. This is just what personally I've been doing for the past couple years that works best for my face shape. And then I was kind of telling you guys tips and tricks. So if this is not how you do things or you're like, okay, that's weird. Totally cool. No big deal. Everyone does a lot of different things in the makeup world, so do whatever is customizable to your face. And just remember that too, is that everyone's face shape is so different, and so I really tell you guys how to do it. Do contour and highlight based on your shape of your face and kind of what to look for and everything like that. So I really hope you guys do learn something new today, and if you do, please let me know in the comments below because that's all I really care about is that you guys learn something from this video and that I know that it's actually beneficial and everything like that or um, areas that you want to see me like talk about more because I can totally do that. This is my first how-to video in depth of how to do something so let me know what you guys think and without further ado so a really long intro let's just go ahead and get on this video and show you guys how to contour and highlight. So the first thing I'm gonna do is go in and do my foundation. I'm gonna be using the Illuminizer Primer by Dr. Brandt. And I am going to go in with foundation. This is the Maybelline Superstay Foundation. I haven't worn this in a while because I've been like wearing my other foundations. But this stuff is awesome. So I just like a nice full coverage base. So before we start contouring, highlighting, and all that jazz, we're going to talk about the basics of contouring. I feel like I'm like teaching the class. I love teaching so much. I love teaching others and kind of informing others. I also love learning so much. So to start off right away, these are my techniques. Techniques. These are what works for me. And I just want to share that with you guys because I know I've been getting a lot of questions and people are asking to do a video. And this is just really honestly what works for me and what I think is the easiest way to contour and highlight. So not saying that everything is correct or everything is right or like the perfect world of makeup because I really don't think there's rules in makeup. I think that as long as you kind of, it all kind of looks the same, I think you can do whatever technique you want. So if you've never contoured before or you're like, where the heck do I even start? Contouring is being able to slim your features on your face or like minimize them by using natural shadows on your face. You are putting shadows on your face to help like either bring in your face more, make it look more like structured in a way with your features and highlighting is bringing out the best of your features, which is you really want to bring out the middle of your face. So if some people who may think that they have like a big forehead or to me like I have, I have a bigger face, I have bigger cheeks. So I like to contour a lot because it looks slimmer makes your face look slimmer. A lot of people contour their nose. I don't ever contour my nose. I'll show you guys how to contour your nose here if you really want to, but I never ever contour my nose. Okay, so basically contouring, like I said, in my terms, it's putting shadows on your face to contour the shape of your face 
to kind of it's like it's perceived differently so obviously my face is never gonna change like it's gonna be the same face but by adding shadows on my face it's gonna like make my face look a little bit slimmer and that's just the power of contouring I'm not really good at describing things but hopefully you guys get my drift with contouring and highlighting I don't really count this as a highlight but I know it's really important to count as a highlight and that's to conceal your eyes your under eyes so when I use concealer I usually use a light or two um, shades two like one or two shades lighter than my actual skin tone or like my foundation and so I'm just gonna go with my NARS creamy concealer and I do this for every single video so it's not anything like crazy but this is how you get the first highlighted effect so I kind of do an upside down triangle and I get kind of like to the sides of my nose I'll do the same thing over here because you really want the under eyes to be really highlighted and being highlighted like this it really helps you look more awake and then you put because we're doing contouring you want a lot of lightness in the front of your face so it doesn't look so dull so that's why we're highlighting our forehead and then we just go ahead and go down the middle of our nose I don't know why I do this I kind of just do it because I think it looks good uh, and I do a little bit on cupid so and then on my chin and then I'm gonna take my beauty blender and blend everything out I do this on a regular basis so um, I like to look way more awake and I like to conceal any under eye darkness that I have it really helps with my eyeshadow as well so you guys can see that after blended out it's like so much brighter than it just was if you were to do a cream product you would do it now before you set all of it with powder but like I said I am not a cream person so do you guys see how much brighter my face is right now? I turned down the brightness because to me it looks like really bright in my viewfinder. So hopefully it's not like super crazy for you guys. But this is what it looks like. It just brought so much lightness to my face. And now we're just going to go ahead and set it with... I'm going to set my whole face now with a translucent powder. I'm just using the Too Faced Peach Perfect powder because it's translucent so it will keep that brightness and also set my face there's like banana powders there's so many products out there that can really brighten your face and so if you want to use a banana powder or like a yellow powder um choose those under your eyes because that will help make your under eyes a lot more brighter but i want to show you guys what i do personally I'm just here to teach you guys how I contour and highlight. And there's so many tutorials out there. So if you just even take one tip away or one like one tip, one trick, or you learn something new, that will make me like the happiest. So if you guys do learn anything new, let me know down below. So now that we have our canvas ready to contour and highlight even more, you want to use a contour shade that is not warm tone. So we're gonna use a bronzer as well, but you do not want to use your regular bronzer like the Physicians Butter Bronzer. This is this is way too warm for me, and so if I contoured with this, it just wouldn't give me the definition that I need because you want something that's gonna resemble a shadow. So anything that's like ash toned or anything like that, you definitely want to try to use, but you have to use it towards your skin tone. A really, really, really good contour kit we're gonna use today is the NYX Highlight and Contour Pro Palette. So you can literally have everything in here that you possibly need. Mine is like the highlighter we put up here. But you have the cool tone shades, you have your bronzer, and these are the banana shades I was telling you about. Okay, so I'm gonna be using this shade right here because it's very ashy and so it's perfect for my skin tone. If you're a deeper complexion, probably this one is really good. But if you are a lighter complexion, this one's really good too. And then I'll probably be using this bronzer, but then darker um, complexions can use this bronzer. So this is a really good kit. I like it a lot and the, and the colors are fantastic. 
finally getting to the meaning of this video. I like to use a dense brush. I like to use this brush. It's from Crown Brushes. Got it in my BoxyCharm, but I love it so much to contour. This one's really good because it has like, like a dome looking brush. Anything that is compact and like small so you can really get in there and contour instead of having like a really big fluffy brush because then it's going to go all over your face. So I'm going to take this and I'm going to pick up a little, a little bit of that ashy like cool tone bronzer. And so on your face, you're going to try to see, says my face, I have like no indent of like where my cheekbone is, but you want to feel where your cheekbone is. And so mine's like right here. I go like this, you can kind of see it. So I'm gonna go right below it. And kind of make a mark. You see that? So wherever your cheekbone is, I know I'm talking like weird, but you want to be, it's like the hollows of your cheek. And then I just start building it up. So I just put a little bit. You don't want to go down, don't go down too low, but I just put a little bit at a time. And then you can kind of see, I don't know if you can see a difference from right here, but can you see how this looks a little bit slimmer than this line and then the side of my face? So we'll, we'll contour this face and then so you guys can see like a big comparison of what it looks like. So I'm just going to take a little bit more now. And I personally don't take it that far because you just want the contour to just be right here because that's kind of like the shadow of your face. So. Looks like that. And that's pretty much how you contour. So you're creating a shadow on your face. Because look at, I mean, can you tell the two differences right now? That's what I'm saying. So now we're gonna take a little bit and go up to our forehead. I don't have much to, like, I don't mind my forehead. So I'm just going to go along my hairline. I'm barely picking up any product because you don't want a lot of product but I always go around my hairline because I really want to bring in my face or my how my face looks I'm gonna go over this with bronzer too but if you guys can tell kind of the difference this is a really good way to make your forehead smaller if that's what you're trying to do you just bring it in a little bit more but you don't want to bring it too much because remember we highlighted this part of our face so and then my favorite part is contouring my jawline. So right where your jawbone is, you want to go like right below that. Because that will give a shadow and making it look like you have a really strong jawline. And remember, I think contouring is most important in pictures, but it's like makes the biggest difference. On camera or pictures so that is one side of my face contoured this side's not and this side's contoured can you tell a difference I hope so and you can deepen this as dark as you want so now I'm just going to deepen it more as we will clean it up later and always blend so, because you don't want, the worst thing ever is to have, like, a stripe on your face. That That's not natural, so. So. so yeah. Okay, so now I'm going to do the other side really quickly. So, after you're done with your contouring, we're going to go on to bronzer. So, you guys can go ahead and use the bronzer. If you guys have this palette, use the bronzer in here. But I'm going to go in with I love, what I love to do is the Physicians Formula Bronzer. And now you're kind of just going over the places that you kind of put that contour, but now you're warming up your face. So that contour acted as a shadow and now you just want to warm it up just a little bit. So we're going to kind of go over the top a little bit with the bronzer so that the contour is still here, but the bronzer helps kind of liven up the color it kind of makes you look more sun-kissed instead of the ashy 
cool tone that this goes. And if you guys do go heavy handed, sometimes like I do, I'll show you guys how we really seal the deal with this contour. So now I am totally bronzed. I have a lot more life to my face. But as you can see, I didn't put bronzer in any place that I put highlight or that I highlighted my face. So you can tell this whole area of my face right here is still really light and that's what we want. We always want to darken this area here. A lot of people count and do like a little backwards three or this is like a really three. It's like a backwards three motion. That's a really good way to to contour. But this is kind of like what you want. And so this is with the bronzer. And now what I do, because I am so heavy handed and I don't think that's ever going to change, just personally how it happens, I'm going to take any translucent powder that you guys may have and take your beauty sponge and I make like that weird fishy face again and I'm going to take it Now, if you already have the contour is looking like awesome on you, you don't have to do this. This is this is just something I do because it really cleans up my contour and it gives me like it looking more the na most natural. So that's what that looks like. Okay, so then next I just put blush on. I always have to wear blush. I've loved blush. For ever since I've been doing makeup okay so we have blush on and really quickly I'm gonna show you guys how to contour your nose personally I do not do this but for people who want to learn how to I'm gonna show you guys really quick I take a pencil brush and I'm gonna pick up that contour shade that we went into here it's gonna be like a five hour video but y'all want an in-depth one so what you want to do is you're going to mimic how we did it on cheeks. You're going to mimic right here, the shadow, the natural shadow of your nose. This is how I would do it. This is how to make your nose look smaller. You just go on the sides of your nose. And I'm not the greatest at this because I never do it. And then you take kind of, like I said, I do not contour my, my nose. so. But that's kind of the gist is that you want to contour here and then kind of like your little nostril so that your nose looks a little bit more snatched. Is that the right word? And then just take a clean fluffier brush and blend it out. So now, can you tell my nose is contoured? I feel like it looks really contoured. I don't have my eyebrows done. I'm doing this whole video without my eyebrows. Oh, please. Now we're going to dust off where we baked or where we put. And you guys can see it looks a lot cleaner, still looks a lot natural. And it just looks a lot better. So I just take my dual fiber brush. I always do this no matter what. And I just kind of blend everything out. I think this is probably the most important brush to have because if you go a little crazy like I do I just really nice to blend everything out okay so now for my very favorite part is powder highlighter and for today we're gonna go into the Anastasia Beverly Hills you guys can use whatever powder highlight that you may have but I love this highlight a lot my favorite highlight brush to use is this Morphe M510 brush right here. So, highlighting. So now we've highlighted, of course, our, our face with um, concealer. So this part is a lot lighter than the rest of our face. So this, looks so this is the highlighted part. So now we wanna add powder highlighter to any area that the, that the sunlight would naturally hit our face. So that's why everyone really highlights up here. And I like to highlight up here, all right here, because if I turn my head, that's where the light is currently hitting. Same on this side as well. I also like to highlight my bridge of my nose, the cupid's bow to make my lips look a little bit plumper, and right here. So it kind of just gives, looks like the look that's coming all together. So what we're going to do is take a little bit of highlighter, 
that's very real it's probably like a lot and you're gonna start on the very high point of your cheekbone so now we contoured the bottom or underneath our cheekbone now we're going to highlight the top of our cheekbone like this and you don't want to go all the way in you just want to go kind of like stay in this area right here and then I bring it into my blush as well so I go a little bit below my cheekbone but I also go above my eyebrows and then I just do like a C motion this is how I learned how to do highlighter I really like doing the C motion because then it's like the whole side of your face is kind of highlighted instead of just like randomly having highlighter there and nowhere else I think it blends better so then that's where I put my highlighter so if you can see this is highlighted and this is not it just adds such a pretty glow to your skin and it goes from being matte and dull to nice and bright i mean look how much that just gave like it gave like youthfulness to your skin and then we want to go to the bridge of our nose and i kind of i don't do anything like crazy here but i do add highlighter i like to highlight a lot if you like a more natural highlight uh, just stick to the cheekbone you can stick to it you don't have to do it above the eyebrow or this eyebrow here I personally just like it for how it looks on my face especially when I photograph it and so yeah I really like it here and then also if it's too much for you take your dual fiber brush and lightly blend everything out I like to do this so it kind of like tones it down just a little bit this is how I contour and highlight my face I personally love these techniques they work really nice for my face and I just hope you take away these tips and tricks for your face shape and remember that everyone that you're watching not everyone has the same face as you so the way that they do something might be totally different on your own face so my challenge for you is to really kind of learn your face shape especially when you're beginning like trying out makeup anything like that it can be so intimidating to figure out your face shape I mean I've been wearing makeup for a really long time and I still struggle with this so I'm not saying I'm a professional contour highlight or person um, I normally don't want I don't really contour that much I just kind of bronze but if I want more of like a slimmer looking face in pictures and stuff then I will and so I just really wanted to show you guys because this is what you requested I just I really like it a lot and yeah I just think it just brings so much to your face it really makeup can really change the way that like, your face looks without having to get like any like crazy things done to your face so if you guys did enjoy this video please let me know please give it a thumbs up hit that subscribe button and let me know what you guys want to see next I do have a ton of videos planned but if you guys want to do like a how-to whatever it is like next we're gonna do how to apply false lashes hopefully that video won't be as long as this one so i'm sorry this was like so long but i really want to do a really in-depth one because i feel like there's a lot of videos because i was watching a lot of videos just to see like how people did it and i didn't want to like copy anyone but i was just like curious how in-depth people went and i feel like no one really into went into depth about like how like why we contour areas that we contour the highlight and everything like that because if you're a beginner chances are you're probably not gonna know why we do the things that we do instead of just slap it on so i'd rather inform you and say like why we do what we do and then kind of show you the steps to get there so let me know if you guys enjoyed this informative video i would love your feedback i love contouring i love bronzer i love highlighting i love it all i love face makeup so much as well as like eye makeup but i think face makeup is probably my favorite if you made it this far leave this emoji here in the comments so that i know you got here this far because i won't be surprised if no one else made it this far so i uh, hope you guys have a good rest of your week rest of your day rest of your night whatever it is and yeah i'll see you guys in the next video take care